So we're here in Motown's unbelievable studios here, Hitsville, USA, and we're spending uh, the afternoon with the legendary Robin Seymour. And tours are coming in here and they're seeing and hearing everything about Motown. Then they're having the opportunity to visit with Robin and Robin's talking about his history here in Detroit, doing Swingin' Time and being on CKLW and Keener and talk about his book, The DJ That Launched a Thousand Hits that tells the entire story and has pictures in it. And that's what we're doing here today at Motown. It, it, tell them about the pictures, yes, because uh, I, I can't read. Put your roller skates on. <laughs> it's quite a feeling being here. In the museum, of course, the Motown Museum. People coming through, meeting them, talking about our book. But um, the changes, I'm telling the people that are coming through that I remember this first visit I made before the museum. This wasn't a museum. This is the actual Studio A where all the hits were made by all the Motown artists. That's right. But it didn't look quite like this. I mean, the room looks the same, but they used to have... The egg boxes, I have a hard time calling it. I want to say egg crates, but they weren't crates. The egg boxes for, to balance the sound. And on the floor, they had this worn carpet with holes in them. Honestly, that was, the, that was the studio. That's where the hits were made. And the piano, Smokey Robinson was that. Marvin Gaye was that. Wasn't that something? I mean, you can just feel it. There's just sort of a, a ghostly feeling or whatever. But it's great being here today, signing our book, meeting the people. Motown certainly made history here in the city of Detroit. Hi there. First of all, I have to say thank you for the many years. <laughs> I'm not a picture person. So I'm a picture person. Thank, you. thank you so much. Wow, I remember those days. Well, were you able to... Just when I heard that, it's like, I know this guy. You know this guy. I know this guy. I know this guy. <laughs> oh, this is great. <laughs> there we go. Beautiful. Do it again. I had my... Okay. Good. I have WJR, not, oh, not FM. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is so cool. <clears throat> Things all lined out for Saturday? Yeah, it better be. <laughs> Wait a minute, you're the radio guy. You're not supposed to be doing that. Oh, no, I do video. Oh, you do video, too. I do lots of My video. God, I'm sure you do a lot of other things. I've done more video of radio people than anybody in the country. Really? Yeah. Okay. 40 years. This is my 40th year of shooting DJ. I'll be darned. And they haven't convicted me yet. <laughs> hey! George, how are you? Nice to see you. What's going on? Welcome. You want to buy a book or This is my friend Robin Seymour. This is my friend George. Hi, George. Oh, you know this guy, huh? He's going to, he's, you're going to hear him tell a little story and then we'll. Did they uh, tell you when you came in that they're going to be giving you some words to a song and you're all going to have to sing? No. No. Did, didn't you do that at the echo chamber? Oh, yeah, he mentioned that. Yeah. Okay, we, we came in here once with a musician. Nobody knew she was a musician, and she started singing, and it was <laughs> unbelievable. Everybody thought, who is this girl? It was one of Van Morrison's backup singers. Oh, my gosh. And I brought them into the Motown Museum. Oh, it was quite a, it was quite an experience for them, too. Yeah. And then I'd also like to uh, introduce you all to a gentleman by the name of Robin Seymour. All right. <laughs> Just turned 90, right? Yep. Yeah, you know, so, so ladies, he's, 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 long, aren't you, aren't, are you single or not? Are you single? Are you single? Oh, yeah. no. Okay, yes, he's not, yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. He's single. He's single. He's single. He's single. Okay. I forgot for a minute. <laughs> so, take it away, sir. All right, thank you. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Are some of you from Detroit? Yes. 
I yes. I, I know that. <laughs> Any of you from Detroit? Okay, so none of you know, just these nice gentlemen here. I used to be a disc jockey here in Detroit for 17 years. And uh, I did a dance party show, you know, like Dick Clark. I was known as the, the Detroit's answer to Dick Clark. Uh, we were on Channel 9 CKLW for mm, close to seven years. And, of course, meeting Barry Gordy a long, long time ago, just when he got started, as I told the people earlier, there were people in New York with a big, big publishing company, one of the biggest in the world, called Peer International. They heard of Barry. They heard some of the stuff that he did. And knowing me, uh, Murray Deutsch, who was the president there, gave me a call and said, could you arrange a meeting with us in Detroit because we're very anxious in meeting this man and talking to him because we would like to start a record company for him. They came in. I told Barry. He was very excited. We met and we talked, and when we finished, we walked to the elevator of one of the hotels right here on Washington Boulevard in Detroit, and he shook, shook hands with me, put his hand out, and he said, Robin, I want to thank you for thinking about me and saying all those nice things about me and telling Mr. Deutsch about me. But you know, I think I'm going to start my own record company. <laughs> and with that was the beginning of the idea now put into works. Yes, and they started here. Now, it didn't look quite like this. It's the same room, but for the sound, the walls were covered with egg cartons. If you'll notice the egg cartons, if you turn them around, they're like the things they use today in studios, but they're not egg cartons anymore. <laughs> this is where the idea came from. And the floor, oh, it wasn't beautifully put together like this. There was an old beat-up rug with holes in it. That was the beginning. The piano was the same. And the sound came from this room with all of the Motown artists that began from nothing to everything. And we were very proud to have done our show, Swingin' Time, for seven years. And every Motown artist that first recorded was on our show. I was always proud of that. Because this is where it began, and on TV is where it began, and the rest is history. And that's my story. And Robin Long, so many of these well-known Motown artists' mm -hmm. careers, and all of that is in the book, uh, The DJ That Launched a, a Thousand Hits. As well, there are pictures from the show, from Swingin' Time, with all of the old artists. Stevie Wonder's in here, and Smokey Robinson is in here, and the Supremes. They're all in the book. So it's a great story. If you're interested in the book, Robin will sign it for you. It's time. And one thing I just wanted to add, my name is Greg Russell. I'm here in Detroit. I work at Channel 4. <coughs> and one of the things I best remember as a kid was getting out of school at 3.15 and running home <laughs> a mile. I made it there in 10 minutes just so I could turn on Channel 9 and watch Swing in Town. And like Robin said, you'd see every Motown artist and all the kids you know, who were in high school back then were dancing and everything in the background. It was just such a great show. And the majority of any of the... Uh, things you ever see about Motown on TV or in any documentaries, if it wasn't on the Ed Sullivan show or the Mike Douglas show, the video's from his show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. there you go. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. A true legend. Legend. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Love this guy. <laughs> Love this guy. Yeah. And my grandparents grew up on Lapham, like two blocks from Kino 13 up where the Cadillac dealership was. Yeah. That was the street, the first block. I used to go down when I was a kid in the 60s, so I was 10 to 12. Stop in the studio, and I told Michael, "You were like the only DJ. You would actually come out and talk to us. Oh, you know, good. Breaks and stuff like that, that was probably one of my good some, days. You know, those green bumper <laughs> stickers, and it was great. You were awesome. Alex, my name. I'm a local musician as well too. But oh, great. What's your name? Dave Uhalik. Hi, Dave. I'm in a local band called. We're kind of a, we're a parody band called the Polish Muslim. We've been around for years. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's yeah. great. Yeah. 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 see you. One of the Polish Muslims. <laughs> 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 Robin, can I have my picture taken with you? Would you mind? 
Pardon? Can I have a picture taken with you? Sure. All right, I hope. Oh, we're in California. Where? Oh, now we're in Camarillo. Oh, yeah. Do you know where that is? Sure. Yeah. Thank you, Andrea. Thank you so much. This was great. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy it. Thank you. Sydney? Like Australia? Yes, exactly. Oh, oh my. We'd like, to, we'd like to get your book. Please. Oh, wonderful. I'm what so an proud. honor to meet you. Well, you, you can't listen to me in Australia. That's really funny. My scribble, you mean? Yes, I know. Jim Feliciano. Hey, Jim. I know that hey, guy. Hey, how you doing? Mike Sells. Mike, nice pleasure. Good, Good to see you, you, Jim. Greg Russell. Thanks. Greg Russell. Yeah. Okay, sure. yeah. This way, watches that. And in the control room, many times, Holland, Dozier, and Holland stood in there. Many times, Smokey Robinson's sat in that room and everything is pretty much the same as it was then. Isn't that right about Smokey Robinson at the piano and mm -hmm. Marvin Gaye at the piano? I guess you say what can make me feel this way Oh my girl, my girl, my girl Don't you cry. Body and what? And you're Jennifer. This, this is Robin Seymour. This is my my sister-in-law. I'm Lori's sister. Lori's Hi. sister. Very nice to meet you. Hi, Lori's sister. I can remember the day you came on the radio when when I was in, in high school, and I, I we were all so excited. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be great new radio station. We have the right one. That is, we had the first in the series. I thought you got it here. We collect money here yeah. if you bought it here. But if you bought it at the bookstore, you're cool. Bookstore, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Great, great. Thank you. No problem. Wow. Thank you very much. Thanks, Neil. Thanks for remembering. And thank you again. Okay, buddy. My husband. Oh. Robin. Robin. I made it my own. Bob. Good to see you. Am I allowed? Give me a hand. Sure you are. How are you? Go. Sorry, I have not so, returned your call. That's okay. You look great. You do too. Damn Thank it. You, you yeah. look so good. Well, we can't help it. I got to keep up with you. <laughs> and I'd also, also like to introduce a legend by the name of Robin Seymour. There he is. Yep, that's you. Know, yeah, 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 this man is 93 years old. Wow. Oh, man. man. <laughs> When they got their water, when they got their fountain the water stairs, I'm trying to get a, a, a swig of that real quick, you know? What's that? The special water that makes you look so good in '93. Yeah. Special water? Yeah, you know the special yeah. stuff, you know. Fountain of youth. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. Baby, baby, sweet baby. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Anybody have any questions for Robin? He's happy to answer. Or we'll make up answers. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. So you said that you were the first on radio to put uh, a black... Yeah. Uh, okay, let me get back to that. That's I'm, I was one of the first. Okay. There were a few others, but very little. But I was the first disc jockey in Detroit that really played a lot. When I mean, Little Richard and stuff like that, that it was unheard of to be played on the station. Now you got. I got to say this to the, to this thing. Uh, our station was in Dearborn, Michigan. Okay. For those of you that weren't, that's where the world headquarters of Ford Motor Company is concerned. Uh, it was a very. There was one color in in Dearborn at that time, and it was white. And we came in and were playing black records. And uh, at that time, it was before rhythm and blues. And we got a lot of calls and a lot of people, and even the owner of the station said, how come you're playing all those records? You know, that... I says, people want to hear them. And of course, he stopped asking because we got more listeners and 
he was interested in the cash register mm. to be ringing, so <laughs> he left me alone. When we got our television show, we had all kids knowing, and Lana knows from dancing black and white and whatever. Uh, we didn't look at it as that. We didn't need to, they were kids, and we all had fun, and everybody enjoyed it, and it was great. And most of all, very proud to have been given the opportunity to introduce every Motown artist at that time on the label that began on our show first. And I'm so happy, and not me, but the kids on the show, and I wished they were mentioned when the TV show went this past week or two the weeks, the special on show team, that mentioning that from Detroit there was a TV show that all the Motown artists that first recorded performed. Would have been great for the city and great for the kids and just great and so forth because we're all proud in Detroit that Motown started right here and growing to what we know today as a dynasty. Barry Gordy was a true genius with all the people that were surrounding him. That's my speech for the day. So, so Robin, <laughs> yes. of all the artists that appeared live on your Swinging Time show, which one would you say fascinated you the most? Uh, well, what a question. <laughs> There's got to be one. And forget Scotty Morgan and the Rationals because yeah. that's... There well, I, I, I would put it to you that, that but, but I'd have to smoke, yeah, the, the Rationals from Detroit, I mean Ann Arbor really, and the, all the Motown artists. I mean, everyone of them fast, because, fascinated because they came on the show and, and the way it, they were dressed in the uniforms and, and they were ready to perform, they were ready to be great. Uh, and but Lana there's would one know. artist that Stevie specifically Wonder. said, Wonder. "Well, Stevie oh. Wonder, yeah." There's one artist specifically said, "Robin launched his career," and he said it on the Tonight Show on Jeff. Oh, Carson. Smoke, yes. Smokey, Smokey Robin. Yes. Yeah, uh, that's I, true. We heard that. So. Mm -hmm. And Johnny Carson. Yeah. yeah. That was a funny question. Uh, Johnny Carson leaned over and said, "By the way, where'd you get started on TV? Your first appearance on the Dick Clark show?" And he said. Oh, no, no, a show called Swingin' Time with a friend of mine, Robin Seymour, in Detroit. Yeah. My daughter, mm -hmm. that's when I was living in Michigan. She was in yeah. San Antonio. Mm -hmm. I know, I was in L.A. Yeah. And the show came on in San Antonio first. She called me and said, Dad, Dad, you got to watch this Johnny Carson show <laughs> tonight. Surprise. You know? <laughs> and I said, well, and I did. I said, I almost fell on the floor. Yeah. Our show was integrated. From the beginning. Right from the beginning, always. And never had one situation at all. That's impressive. Thank you. Thank you for watching. That's impressive.